Hello and welcome to the HYC app final. I'm Jonah. I'm Matthew. And I'm Cade. The HYC <laughs> application is a navigation app for the iPhone that will guide families in the HYC area to playing fields, courts, and tracks. We are working on this project because we have experienced the struggles in finding these locations while on the way to sporting events. Would you guys say you've uh, had that similar struggle? Yes. Well, I have um, seen where people come to Hayworth and don't know where the baseball fields are. Yes. That is, a, that is a good example. All right, um, so for our milestones, our first milestone was coding basics. And so as part of that, we did this very simple um, count, to 10. count to 10 app. And it just does some uh, text output here. So if we clear this field, you can uh, see that when we hit run, it outputs numbers 0 through 9. And then we also implemented some if-then statements uh, with some various interesting and random text lines that it outputs, and they all worked. Um, the resources used to learn this was a website called mobiletutsplus.com, and that was a very helpful website for learning some basics of coding. Next milestone was Xcode Basics. Matthew, go ahead with Xcode Basics. Well, one thing about Xcode is there's a lot of completely necessary, but they don't do actually that much um, punctuation, like all these parentheses and semicolons and whatnot. If you don't have one in there, the whole thing will not run. It's kind of annoying. Along with that, there is su buttons such as the Run button, the stop button, those are helpful for testing apps. The different views that you can use to create your stuff in. And uh, all the different interfaces of Xcode that we had to learn. Also, we learned how to do interface design using Xcode and the storyboard. So this is the storyboard, this is where we put all the user interface together. Matthew, do you want to define the user interface for us? The user interface is the part that you actually see when you're using the app and not all the coding stuff behind it that you have no idea what it means. <laughs> that, that is a good description of it. So you can see here we have some toolbars and some buttons here and another toolbar and a picker view. This is kind of a big component of our app. And also behind here we have a map view. That's where the actual um, map image will come up at where you can scroll around and look for your destinations and such. In this view, it only shows um, one column and row for the uh, picker view, but in the actual app, we have two. Yes, two what are called components. Um, also, part of learning Xcode meant we had to f figure out how to set up the interface and such. So down here, you have all of your different items you can drag and drop into your interface. All these fun, like, labels and uh, different switches or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, we had to learn how to do that. Now for the things we learned. Of course we learned our basic coding as you saw earlier. We also learned... Um, we learned how to fix an app. That is... <laughs> we, uh, we've learned how to make a picker view, which was the big spin wheel thing where you select your uh, school and sport, and we also learned how to populate it with items. Uh, here's all of our items here listed, and they are all under one section, or all inside of one array each. So there's an array for schools, an array for sports, and uh, the two arrays are what populate the picker views. Then to the uh, right of that, we have the schools and then the different sports that we have done. Yeah. We also had to set up a um, view for the picker since you don't you don't want it on the screen all the time. So we made a view for it where you can just like bring it up or down. That way it's not always in your way. And that's what these two chunks of code do right here. They they make it go up and down respectively. And then also we learned how to show a 
little text box or an alert or an alert box that just kind of tells you about the app and gives you some general information about it. All right, Kate, do you want to explain this part? Okay, so what we did was we took the um, HYC logo and we completely redid it. We took a we just basically started from scratch and we used Photoshop to make the new three different logos for the splash screen and the icons. The um the backgrounds and the uh the Illinois were just photos off of Google. But then um the all the text was done in Photoshop and the app logos are uh just miniatures of the big splash screens. The uh, splash screens will be what loads or what will uh, appear when the app is loading and then the icons which are the smaller ones will be what shows up on your um, as like the uh, app logo. On the home screen. Yeah on the home screen. Okay so now we're looking at um, Google Earth and uh, what we're gonna use with Google Earth is um, we put the pins down on the school's location so that we can um, take those coordinates and put input those into the code and then it'll output them on your device so that um, it'll show you where to go to the schools. And right now it is currently scrolling around and showing all the different towns. That's Lexington. And these are all the different towns in the HYC conference. They go through all, all throughout Central Illinois, it's Gibson City, and it shows all the sports that they have at the different schools. Okay, so um, the resources that we've used are Xcode, Photoshop, and Google Earth as the programs. Um, now the um, websites that we've used are going to appear on the screen, and um, we have used various YouTube videos and here are the YouTubers that we have used. Thank you to those YouTubers and those websites for those for that information. It's been really helpful for the making of our app. Yeah. All right, so now to go ahead and look at what we've got on our app so far. Uh, the app opens and it gives you a location, it locates you. This is the default location of um, the simulator. Obviously we're not in San Francisco or Cupertino. But uh, yeah, so it would show you where you're actually at if this was in a real iPhone. And then you can click here and it brings up our picker which you can see is populated with all of our schools and all of our sports. You can hide that and then also you can hit the info box to receive some basic instructions on how to use the app and also credit to us for making it. Uh, so our app isn't quite yet complete. We were not able to get all the pins to work after being selected by the picker. That is something we will work on implementing starting second semester. Um, but other than that, the app is pretty much finished. We just have that little last step that has been quite hard to figure out left to do. Anything else you guys want to say? See you next end of semester when second semester finals come up. And the app will be complete. Hopefully. Toodaloo.